Greetings. This video is a brief introduction to the Reef Aquarium Project at Williamsport Area High School. Williamsport is located in north central Pennsylvania between State College and Scranton. Our large high school is home to over 1,800 students and 150 faculty. As you enter the high school from the main science entrance, you'll pass by some science laboratories, but just ahead on your left, you'll see two 65 gallon aquariums. The left aquarium has a variety of fish. But the right aquarium is our aggressive tank, featuring two venomous fish, as well as a snowflake moray eel. Just as you finish enjoying these fish, and you round the corner, you'll find another aquarium. It's a 125 gallon reef aquarium with a variety of fish and coral from around the world. Right beside the 125 gallon aquarium are two more aquaria. Each is a 55 gallon aquarium containing our variety of clownfish. Just as you finish looking at these tanks, you'll find yourself in the very center of our school where the main hub and main office are located. Let's take a closer look at the first aquarium. This 65 gallon aquarium is home to three fish including a blue velvet damsel, a red toothed triggerfish, and a yellow tang. We keep this soft Kenya tree coral in the tank as well. Kenya tree does not build a skeleton like stony coral. It reproduces by dropping branches into the surf to be carried to other parts of the reef. We also keep this devil's hand coral that is a cousin to the Kenya tree. This anchor coral is a stony coral that builds the familiar limestone rock that you see around coral reefs. Now let's move on to the 65 gallon aggressive tank. On the left you'll see the fox face rabbit fish emerging from one of its favorite hiding spots. This fish is very poisonous. It has venomous spines on the top of its body. You'll also see a blue faced tang on the right side of the tank. This is our snowflake moray eel. It's still young, but it's already 12 inches long. They eventually reach about 30 inches in length altogether. This is our Antonata lionfish, also a very poisonous fish. The end of its spines have very venomous darts that can cause an extremely painful sting. The centerpiece of our aquarium project is this 125 gallon aquarium. It's a mixed reef tank that has fish, coral, clams, and urchins from all over the world. This very colorful clam has a mantle that extends outside of its shell. The mantle is photosynthetic to help the clam produce food for itself. This little fish is called an algae blenny. His coloration allows him to blend in with the rocks. Coral reefs represent some of the most beautiful yet fragile ecosystems on our planet. Many of the world's reefs are in a state of decline due to deteriorating water conditions caused by pollution and an increase in water temperature. Our goal is to educate both students and the public about the nature of coral reefs in a sustainable manner. The coral on display in these tanks has been raised in captivity from fragments traded among reef keepers. In fact, many of the coral on display here have grown up to ten times their original size and some fragments from our tank have been passed on to other aquaria. Our school has a close partnership with the North Central Pennsylvania Aquarium Reef Society whose members have donated all of the coral on display from fragments of coral they grow in their own aquaria. Our fourth tank contains a mated pair of Clark Eye Clownfish, also known as anemone fish. These fish adopt an anemone host. This symbiotic relationship benefits both the fish and the anemone for a number of reasons. We're hoping to be able to raise clownfish from the eggs laid by this pair of fish. The final tank is home to a number of Ocellaris clownfish raised right here in Williamsport by a graduate of Williamsport Area High School. These fish, made popular by the movie Finding Nemo, are all siblings from the same clutch of eggs. The tank also has a regal tang just like Dory in the movie Finding Nemo. Let's go behind the scenes for a moment. The aquarium room where the maintenance is performed is a complex maze of plumbing and life support equipment to keep the fish, coral, and other livestock happy and healthy. We need to recreate the complex conditions that are present on a coral reef, including lighting that is the same brightness and color as the noonday tropical sun. We also need to provide ample chemical, mechanical, and biological filtration. Each of the tanks has holes drilled in the back to allow water to return to the large sump tank that exchanges water back to all the tanks in the system. One common water system allows for easy monitoring of tank conditions. We replace about 100 gallons of water every other week with seawater that is made fresh in this large tank. We started a project to propagate coral fragments to distribute to other educational institutions and hobbyists in this tank. We plan to expand our coral propagation system 
and are currently seeking funding to add a large fragment tank. For more information, please visit us on the web at www.mrflint.com fish or at www.ncpars.org.